Yo, what is up everybody? My name is Shrimp and welcome back to another video. Uh, two videos back, uh, we decided to make this disappearing platform that uh, is set based on this while loop. Uh, but instead of this like while loop infinitely running, we are going to create a fading platform that fades whenever a character like myself touches this platform. So yeah, let's so let's get started. All right, guys. In a previous tutorial, we had some fun with events with, where we did lava dot touch dot connect kills a player. In this disappearing platform, we're gonna pretty much do the same thing. Bring in this event, and then when an event fires off, we're then going to fade the platform. And then we're eventually going to make it fully transparent, which means fully invisible, and then can collide, which is equals to false. So let's just copy this. Uh, so let's copy this from the lava script. Um, so instead of lava.touch, we actually want to refer to this platform. Uh, so it's going to do platform.touch. And then we want a new function. We don't want to call it kill player. Uh, we just want to call it fade for now. Whenever we do touch this platform, we will call this function fade, and then we will do some instructions. What we're going to do is we're going to gradually make the platform disappear. Once platform is fully transparent, then we turn can collide to false. All right, uh, this is gonna be the instructions for what our, our uh, fade function is gonna do. Uh, we can delete this for now, which is our old code, and uh, let's just see uh, what this does. So, so when we actually touch it, we're gonna call fade, right? In my last video, I talked to you guys how to make a for loop, and we're actually gonna use the for loop here. Um, so, if you guys don't know what a for loop, make sure to watch my previous video. Uh, but basically, we're going to do for count equals 1 to 10. Do this. And then we're going to do platform.transparency equals count divided by 10. And then we're just going to do to have some like wait. So uh, there's a little bit of a pause. So let's actually print platform.transparency. Oh, actually, let's just do, hold on, let's just print, uh, what am I doing? Uh, let's just do print count divided by 10 to see, like, what actually is happening. All right. So right now, as you can see, there's no longer this infinite loop, right? It's just because we haven't actually fired off this event, uh, because we haven't touched the platform yet. But when we do touch the platform... You can see that it turns invisible and then like gradually disappears. You can see that I'm still able to walk on this and then there's this like glitching effect. We'll explain why this is happening right now. First off, we want to make the player actually die, like actually fall through when the transparency uh, equals one, right? So then let's do, so at the end of this for loop, after after this whole for loop runs, we're gonna, we're gonna do turn can collide equals false. So platform dot can collide equals false. And then also I want to delete these because like these aren't being used at all right now. So just want to make it more clear. Um, so yeah, so now let's 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 see if we solve one of our issues, uh, which is making sure that after the disappearing stuff, uh, we can actually fall through. So look, after we hit 10 seconds, or after we hit transparency equals one, then platform that can collide equals false, and that's why we fall through. But after we die, there's also another thing that happens. Like if you see here, uh, we actually don't ha allow the platform to respawn or like reshow up, and so we want to make sure to do that. So say after three seconds, so after like three seconds of um, making the platform invisible, we want to reset basically the platform to the default state, which is platform.cancolite equals true, and then platform.transparency equals zero, which means it's fully transparent. So let's try it one more time. Let's see what happens then. So we're stop, and then we're gonna resume. 
I'm going to jump on this. It's going to fully fade into zero. And then once once it fully goes uh, to invisible, if it waited three seconds and then it respawned. So then if I die and reset again, the platform is now there because it's reset back to its original state after three seconds. This is good. Now the only thing we need to focus on now is this like weird glitching path pl uh, thing that's happening. So what is happening with our that glitching pa pl pattern, right? So basically what is happening is that when I have an event, I am touching it multiple times. Every time I run a like a body part that comes in contact with the part, it uh, resets, it basically recalls fade multiple times. So if I go on, if I step with my left foot onto this platform, it fires fade once. If I step with my right foot, it fires fade again. And then over and over, it just fires function fade multiple, multiple times. And uh, we only want this function to, to trigger once and not multiple times. And that that's why this is ca causing uh, that sort of glitching pattern. Um, because w essentially what is happening is that we're recalling this from scratch. That's why like it kind of glitches, starts to slowly fade, and then when I step again, it goes back to like fully visible. Like it, I'll try to show you here. Like you see, oh, that was kind of a bad example. Um, let's try that again. And so how do we get rid of this? So how we get rid of this is called a debounce. Uh, and so what it is, is just a variable that keeps track of like, is this function in progress of being ran? And so what we're going to do is have a, a Boolean called is touched equals false. Basically, we want to make sure I'll add a comment. Check if this function is already in progress or check if this function uh, is in the middle of being fired. I, I mean, yeah, hopefully that, that makes sense. Um, and so we're going to do if not is touched, then, and then we're going to take all this logic and put it in here. So what does if not means basically if when you have a not and you have a false variable, it's always this this uh, kind of cancels each other out. You have two two negatives, and then it's true. So then this if statement will fire off. So basically, if is touch is false, this will run, which means uh, this 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 part hasn't been touched yet. This is, and this is the first time I'm touching the part. But if the part is in the middle of being fired, which means this, this should be true, and then this will not run because we are already. We're supposed to be in the middle of it uh, being ran already. Once we go inside this loop, we then want to change change is touch to true. Uh, and then because this is true, basically it says we're in the middle of of this. Uh, we're in the middle of this this uh, event being fired off, and we want to run through these instructions fully, and only fully and we all we also want to run it only once and so when when this is true and we touch it again with our right foot this will not this whole thing will not fire off and like will not glitch again and so also at the end we want we want to uh reset our variables to original values and so we also want to change is touched equals to false. Bang, just like that. So let's try it one more time. All right, and so this should get rid of the, the glitching stuff. And as you can see, it worked. You can see that these numbers printed only once all the way through, right? And so there's no glitching stuff that happens anymore. Basically, it runs all the way through, waits three seconds, responds with the original st original like state or variables that it had before, and then we can just do it again with no glitching. Uh, let's let's now check if we can fall we fall through after the one second mark, and yes, it we do. 
Uh, so that works. And that is the tutorial. I hope this has helped you guys. If you have any questions, make sure to let me know. Because uh, I, I feel like this might have been a bit confusing and I didn't explain it that well. Uh, but if you guys are confused, make sure to let me know in the comments and I'll make a separate video. Um, but yeah, hopefully this helped you a lot. Again, guys, you can build many games based just based on this. You can upgrade your obbies a lot. Uh, and ad additional thing, you can have like color block tower. Um, in the next tutorial, and we're actually going to introduce how to make the leaderboard stats. Make sure to uh, subscribe if you're not already. I appreciate it so much and uh, see you in the next one. Sure.